To help us better understand the nature of the universe, theoretical physicists have been developing theories, particularly string theories, from the late 1930s onwards. Now, string theories are mathematical theories that state that each fundamental particle, like the electron, is actually made up of tiny vibrating strings of energy. Not actual strings like yarn or thread or twine, but hypothetical strings. And depending on the vibration patterns of these strings, you can get different types of particles. According to string theory, space time may have as many as 10 dimensions, four of which are already accounted for. Three are our typical XYZ coordinates of physical space, otherwise known as three dimensional or 3D space. Another is time, and the remaining six are rolled up so tightly together that we'll never see them. Prior to 1995, there were only five competing string theories, but now these five are considered to be limiting cases of a more generalized theory called M theory. But don't worry, understanding M theory is not a requirement of this class. I just wanted to give you this information and let you run with it how you will. So far, these theories are consistent with observations, but there is no direct evidence. Two very famous string theorists include Dr. Michio Kaku and Dr. Jim Gates Jr., both of whom have given lectures and published plenty of articles on the topic. Some of their lectures, interviews, discussions, and podcasts are already online on YouTube and are worth looking into if you have the time or interest. But now we've arrived at the conclusion of our Astro 120 course. So I'd like to thank you for joining me on this journey through the cosmos. I hope you've enjoyed the adventure, and now I leave you with a few questions to ponder. What is really going on out there? And do we have all the answers but just don't know it yet? If we don't, what else can we learn about our place in the cosmos? We have yet to figure it all out. So stay tuned, read science news, follow the stories and the discoveries, and let's see where the next decade will take us.